Hi, and welcome to Rapid Respiratory Review, and today we're going to talk about Adaptive Support Ventilation, or ASV. It is an adaptive mode of ventilation that can be used for adults and pediatrics, which uses the patient's sex, the patient's height in centimeters, and percent minute volume, which you would set, assuming everyone wants a minute volume of 100 mils per kilogram per minute. It then, with those values, uses the Otis equation, which they developed which use, looks at the dead space, the compliance and resistance, and gives ventilation in order to offset the dead space and proportion, proportional to what it calculated for, its, for the patient's compliance and resistance. It will give the proper rest rate and tidal volume. However, you do have to set a few things. You have to set your FiO2, PEEP, E-sensitivity, and PRAMP. And I'll get into why you have to set pressure support type in a second. So in its passive mode, so when the patient's completely sedated, not breathing, it'll use a volume targeted pressure control type of mode with automatic adjustments based on the patient's primary compliance and resistance. In its active mode, when the patient's not sedated and breathing normally or just waking up, it'll go to a pressure support mode and will automatically trial patient weaning. So SBTs on five on five. And that's why you have to set your e-sense and pressure ramp. If patient starts to breathe, it will switch to the PSV, like I said, and it'll try to maintain the set minute, vent, minute volume. So if the patient's not breathing enough, it may give a breath or it may give more support. It, the machine also is able to implement lung protective strategies to prevent complications. And as the patient breathes more and more, the pres pressure support will become less, just like as you would as an RT in the clinical practice. After you type all this in, it estimates your anatomical dead space. So once you've put all the information in, it's gonna get your dead space. And when you are setting your minute volume percent, usually you put them 10% above due to them sometimes being on an HME or having added dead space from uh, a flex tubing added in. Um, some general guidelines. You add minute volume, you would have your minute volume percent at 120% for temp greater than 38.5. Since they're making more CO2, they need more out. ARDS, they might go at 120 and promote, so then it's promoting lymphatic drainage. And COPD, 90% because you want them to be, they don't need as much. Um, so ASP is not the best mode for all patients. It's only good for some patient cohorts, some say it shouldn't be used in ARDS, SAS, asthmaticus, difficult complex patterns of ventilation, and patients who the doctors ordered no, no wean. One contraindication to ASP is active chest leaks because then, uh, from a chest tube, because then it would inaccurately calculate the compliance and resistance. Um, so there is also a piece on the front um, with the display and when it has a timer on the amount of time it's been looking at it then that means that it then they're able to be extubated because it's done a weaning trial already so that's all for ASV have a great day